So in this video, we're gonna create a WordPress child theme and we'll talk about why you wouldn't want to do that in the first place. Uh, the main reason is so that you don't lose any kind of uh, changes that you might make to a theme. So you see here I have a WordPress test site set up with some WooCommerce uh, fake data. And suppose I wanted to change uh, the layout of these products, maybe the background color of the body, uh, just any change you can think of to a theme, uh, I would do that in the code of course. Uh, there's a problem with directly editing the theme itself. If I were to take one of these files like this header file and add my own code here, I would get the look or the functionality that I'm going for. However, if this theme should have an update and I were to update it, I'd lose any of the changes that I made to this uh, code here. So uh, in comes the child theme and that would be the main reason to create one is so that you don't lose your changes. Another good reason is so that uh, it kind of speeds up development. If you know you need a quick website and you know uh, some of the basic functional requirements are, uh, you can get there pretty quickly with just a uh, WordPress child theme. Uh, another reason, which is my favorite, is so that it teaches you how to learn about WordPress theme development. And when you're looking through a parent theme, as we'll call it, uh, you can see here there's a lot of uh, practices that are generally uh, in the WordPress dev community best practices. Okay so getting started the first thing we'll want to do is create a new folder in my themes directory and I'll just call it uh, let's go 2017 child 2017 child and I also have the WordPress child theme page up on the codex. And you'll see here that uh, a child theme has to have at least two files, the style.css file and the functions.php file. The style file is for all of your theme details and we'll just go ahead and copy everything here. And then create that file. And then your functions.php file is how you inherit uh, your parent themes functionality design. So I'm going to create a new file here and it has to be named style.css. Oops, I put an extra S there. One second. Okay, and then I'm going to paste everything that I copied from the WordPress child theme page. And uh, you'll see here I've got some details. Let me zoom in a bit so I can talk about them. These are pretty much your WordPress theme details. See, so you've got your name. We have 2017 child, so I'll just change that. You can also have the theme URI and description. Uh, author, template, and so on. Uh, our template, however, is 2017, so we'll need to change this as well. And then we'll change it down here again. We'll call it 17 child. Then I'll just save that. And the next thing we need to do is make the functions.php. <clears throat> and we'll copy that uh, initial code from here too. Uh, there's two blocks. The first one just pulls in the parent style sheet, you can see here. The second one will load the parent style sheet as well as uh, the style sheet that we created in case we want to add anything additional to uh, nine times out of ten you would want to copy this second block because you're probably going to have uh, some CSS changes of your own so we'll copy that second block and we'll just uh, save it to this file let me zoom out just a little bit now we're using 2017 so the parent style will actually be 2017. So I'll go ahead and save that. And then let's switch back to my WordPress theme area and I'll just refresh this page. And you can see now the 2017 child theme is an option. And let's look at the details. These are the details uh, that we set here in the style.css file. And it also tells you what it's a child theme of. Suppose we were to change this to 2015. We would do that here. 
and then save it. And then let's refresh this. 2015. So let's activate that. And then we'll refresh our home page. And you can see here, uh, because we changed that template option on line seven, we're not using 2015, but I want 17, so I'm gonna switch it back to that. I like the new 2017 thing. And just refresh it. I think we need to deactivate it and then activate it again. So I'll go back to 17. And then let's check out the details here. Okay, now we're a child theme of 2017 again. And we'll activate that. And then we'll check out our website. And that's it. That's how you create a WordPress child theme. Uh, very simple. Uh, as you can see, we didn't add any of the index.php file or the header or anything like that. And that's because uh, we are fully inheriting all the functionality of the main theme, as well as the HTML and CSS.